Like you, my TikTok For You page has taken me to some weird corners of the app. We're talking witch talk. Clean talk. But recently, I've been fed slap talk. I'm talking about videos of people just slapping the absolute shit out of each other. According to Forbes, slap fighting reportedly originated in Russia. But Russian slap fighting isn't what I was seeing all over TikTok. Most of the fighters were American. People wearing blue jerseys that read power slap. It turns out that Power Slap is likely the only American professional slap fighting league, and it has its own TV show. Power Slap pits two equal weight competitors against each other. The contestants use open hand slaps to try to hit each other in the face hard enough so that their opponent cannot slap them back. The defender can't flinch. Oof. Brutal. Power Slap originally aired on TBS, but it was canceled after one season following serious backlash. Are you worried about other athletes getting concussions? Yes, absolutely. Should this sport happen in Nevada? No. But before the cancellation was even official, Power Slap announced that it had signed an exclusive deal with a streaming platform called Rumble. What's up, everybody? I'm excited to announce that Power Slap is joining Rumble. Soon after the deal was signed, Rumble promotions and logos started popping up all over the Power Slap set and across all of its social media and promotional material. The league was given its own button on the Rumble homepage, nearly front and center. And just like that, the convergence of Power Slap and Rumble was complete. But what exactly is Rumble? To put it simply, Rumble is a right-wing YouTube knockoff. A video platform celebrating freedom, creative independence, immunity to cancel culture. The platform was founded in 2013 by Canadian tech entrepreneur Chris Pavlovsky. But when the pandemic hit in 2020, alongside the tumultuous presidential election, popular right-wing figures and talking heads quickly flocked over to the platform. The left has been hijacked. The pride movement has been hijacked by pedophiles. Viewership skyrocketed as the right-wing media found a home for its conspiracy theories and its malicious brain worms. Oh yeah, I don't think women should vote. They want you to hate yourself. They want you to hate your country, especially if you're white. In every single industry, if you look at the end of the, of the rabbit hole, it's always a Jew who controls it. Fringe far-right figures like white nationalist Nick Fuentes started posting loads of content on the platform. We need to uh, have something like a white uprising. White people gotta make the right decision and then Trump's gotta get in there and never leave. Rumble also attracted a ton of other extreme conspiracy theory content. From Pizzagate to anti-vax videos to general anti-Semitism, Holocaust denial, and mountains of QAnon content. In fact, a Media Matters analysis found that nearly half of the three most liked Rumble videos every day between February and April 2023 were from QAnon support or QAnon adjacent channels. Now, Rumble is being backed by a number of right-wing financiers and has become a large part of the alt-tech ecosystem. In an umbrella of platforms like Gab, Truth Social, Getter, and Parler that cater to extremist content. So why is a platform that is riddled with bigotry and conspiracy theories interested in Power Slap? Everyone in the office is really excited about Power Slap joining Rumble. Over the past year or so, Rumble has signed deals with non-political content creators, streamers, viral pranksters, online gamers, music, news commentators, skateboarding leagues, and podcast hosts. I've secured a great partnership with Rumble where they won't censor me in any way, shape, or form. I have no stress. I could do what I want, play what I want. Every single creator on the internet should be on Rumble. Other young influencers, including YouTubers like Kai Sinat and I Show Speed, have signed deals with Rumble to have their own show. All right, so we starting a show. What the fuck we doing? Those deals are part of a larger strategy to expand Rumble's online audience by signing well-known media personalities to the platform. Case in point, Steve will do it. In September 2022, Rumble signed an exclusive deal with comedian and influencer Steve Will Do It from the Nelk Boys. You gotta show off the jersey though. Like, wait, wait, the, the best part's the back. Like. Steve you know, did it. The Nelk Boys are a wildly popular Canadian entertainment group who are known for their viral prank videos. Are you gonna use the smoke? 
Rumble wasn't coy about why the platform partnered with Steve Will Do It. The press release specifically mentioned that they hope Rumble will become the cool place to be for the Gen Z population. How do you do, fellow kids? And that investment is already paying off. Since signing, Steve Will Do It has been featured in at least three ads for the platform. Did you just cancel me? All right, I'm gonna be leaving now. Where are you going? To a place where I can't get canceled and they celebrate free speech. It's called Rumble. Later, pal. Which brings us back to Power Slap. Line him up. Here we go. Oh! While it might seem weird, Rumble knows that kids and Gen Z are huge fans of UFC and fighting sports. Power Slap gives them an easy way to lure those viewers into the right wing fever swamp. The show brought over a million views to Rumble in its first week. In September 2022, the platform reported a new monthly active user record, specifically citing Gen Z user growth on the platform. What's up, guys? Power Slap finale is live and free on Rumble. Since acquiring the show, Rumble has announced that it is expanding the program, introducing an hour-long recap show, as well as an exclusive program featuring Dana White. In April, Rumble signed a deal with the Republican National Committee to stream the first 2024 GOP debate, proof that the platform's efforts to normalize itself are paying off. We're going to live stream on Rumble. Uh -huh. uh, we're getting nice. away from big tech. YouTube's owned by Google. We're going to have an RNC channel on Rumble. Shows like Power Slap may seem like a silly distraction, but they're distractions with a purpose. To lure a new generation of viewers to a world of extreme and dangerous content. Content that they never would have sought out on their own.